Angles are excited that he's gone is because they support the states having the power. They believe that they should have more control. They should be able to decide uh, who gets to come to Texas, what religion they get to practice, and they want to they want to use federalism as a way to do it. And Santa Ana is their man because he says, well, there was this constitution called the Constitution of 1824, and it seemed very federalist. It kind of gave them a lot of power, and he says he's going to support that constitution. He's going to help them achieve their goals. Well, now they are feeling really, really good. Uh, in 1832, Santa Ana is a federalist. They've beaten the Mexicos at uh, Velasco, and they're feeling like, you know what, we can, let's try to do this the right way. Let's send a list of complaints to the government. Let's see if we can get Santa Ana to support us. So they meet at San Felipe, which is where Austin lived. Um, he sends out for a bunch of people to come discuss these issues. And he notices, notices that all of the people who come are Anglos and no Tejanos, no people of Mexican descent. And this worries him a little bit. And he realizes that the Mexican laws say that you can't gather people in this fashion. You can't have a group of people come and complain. So he realizes this could be illegal. But he does ask him, well, what is it that we want to achieve? And it's really confusing. Everyone wants a thousand different things, but they finally narrow it down to three basic things. They want to allow Anglos to come to Texas again. They don't want to have to pay the duty or the import tax on American goods. And they don't want to be part of Coila anymore. They want, they want to be just Tejas. They don't want to be a part of a two-star. They want to be a lone star. So they really want to get rid of a lot of the stuff from the laws of April 6th. Well, the problem with it is, of course, is that um, they're all Anglos. And it seems like they're gathering together. And it makes it look really suspicious to the Mexican government if they get a list of things sent from only Anglos. And Stephen F. Austin realizes they need to get some Tejanos on their side. So this first convention of 1832 really doesn't achieve anything except it gets the conversation going. 